it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV. Today's tip is to make sure that you match the venue, the guest count, the budget, and the food for the caterer. So here was the situation. I had a bride that had hired me for partial planning, and so she already had her venue, she had some of her vendors, and it was a very small, intimate venue, but she told me that her RSVPs would only be 75. She was only inviting around 75 guests, and she was pretty sure that they were all gonna come. So I went along with it, we planned happily, we finished all the design, everything was good, and then as it got a little bit closer, she told me that her guest list was growing and she was afraid that more people were gonna show up. And the bad thing was, is she did her own invitations and she decided not to have a formal RSVP. So we really didn't know about how many people were gonna show up. She ended up inviting about 125 guests. Again, she only wanted to RSVP with the caterer for 75 guests. Now me knowing that potentially 125 people could show up, I didn't wanna be the one lying to the caterer. So I told the client, let the caterer know how many people you think are gonna come and that's our final number. Well, I didn't even think forward enough to check fire codes at the venue to see how many people could actually come inside the venue. Again, it was really small, it was really intimate and quaint. quaint. Again, it was really small, it was really intimate, and it was really quaint. So when we get there and the guests keep filing in for the reception, the manager came over to me and said, it looks like we're pretty full, we're pretty at capacity, and there's people still outside. And so when I went to look out the front window, I saw a line like it was a nightclub for people to get in. And the manager said, I'm so sorry, but we cannot allow people to come in here. Our fire codes say X amount of people and we'll get fined. It's a liability for us. And so thankfully the bride didn't notice that people were standing outside waiting to get into her reception. The food stations opened and what's the first thing that happened? We ran out of food. So it looked awful on the caterer's part, but again, I was thinking in my head, gosh, I should have given the caterer a heads up. That's when I was pretty inexperienced. I was still learning and I learned from all these experiences how to be better and how to help my clients in the future. Another reason why I really like to be involved from the beginning of the process so I can really educate my clients to make sure that their venue matches their guest count. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.